what's up everybody what's up uh, I'm sitting here coming to you today I made a video about the George Zimmerman case and uh, with Trayvon and, and all this and that and uh, I got some questions because one thing is I never I, I got some questions on this because one thing is I don't believe everything they say is because what oh Zimmerman had a bruise on his head Zimmerman had this and this broken nose and all that because I'm going to show you something that I thought it was just unnecessary the video now this is Zimmerman getting out the car shirt tucked in clean pants clean shirt no broken nose I don't see no broken nose <clears throat> and you can kind of see the well the, this is the ABC you don't, kind, you don't see a bruise I really don't you can't because the logo's in the way but you see him patting him down gently and these are the clothes he's, he wore on the day he killed Trayvon Martin. Now, if he's wearing the clothes that he killed Trayvon Martin, why do they look so clean? Why why does he look so clean in the in the in the in this? Because one thing is if somebody commits a murder and they get booked, they're supposed to take the clothes and run it to the lab to get it tested to see if there's any DNA or any evidence. See now now you look right here. I don't see a fucking bruise. Do you? I know I don't. I don't see a bruise, but they said he had a bruise on his head. I don't now you look, see clearly no bruise. You don't see a bruise. Let me pause it. You don't see a bruise. Like like if you look here, you don't see a Even far away, you don't see a bruise. Like the first time I seen this tape, you don't see a bruise. See, look. Clean shirt, clean pants, nice belt, tucked in. Everything. See, you don't bruise nothing. How did he... How did he... Like, for real, though, I don't see a bruise on his head. I know y'all didn't see a bruise on this because one thing is it was kind of bullshit how oh he got, he got beat up he got attacked by Trayvon Martin I didn't see a bruise did y'all see a bruise I know I didn't I know I didn't and people trying to say oh he got a bruise he got a bruise he got a bruise I didn't see a bruise I didn't see trauma I didn't see nothing clothes all nice and clean shirt tucked in where's the blood stains that's supposed to be on the shirt from the blood of Trayvon Martins where's the broken nose and the blood that's coming off coming from his nose where's the blood where's the grass stain from where he was scuffling with Trayvon on the ground where is it like I don't I don't see none of that you can not see it why is he still wearing the same clothes that he wore at the murder scene why? Why is he still wearing the same clothes when he got booked into the police station? See, I'm gonna show you right here because I got the I got a good shot. Now, this is uh, his head, the back of his head. I don't see a bruise. Do y'all? I really don't see a bruise. Where's the bruise at? That's the back of his head. There is no bruise. How come when this video came out the first time, nobody saw a bruise? Nobody. Nobody saw a bruise on his head, but when they analyzed it, when they analyzed it, where did that fucking bruise come from? Because the first video didn't show a bruise. But it's awfully funny technology today, you can doctor a video. I wonder who paid the person to analyze that video and docked it. I know I couldn't do that shit. I, I know tempering with evidence is a big no no. A big no no. A big ass no no. It's a big no no that you don't doctor a video just to make Trayvon Martin look bad. And I'm gonna tell y'all this though. This picture I got up of Trayvon as a young kid. It doesn't matter what picture you use. It's just a picture that you show who got uh, of a victim. Trayvon was the victim. Now he's walking down the street from the store, getting something to drink and uh, some candy getting some drink, something to drink and some candy from a store 
walking in the rain. He's wearing a hoodie. He didn't want to get wet walking in the rain. And, and he and Zimmerman calls the police. Everybody heard the tape. The police said, are you following him? When Zimmerman said yes, the police told him, don't follow him. Why did everybody, why is everybody looking over that? The police told him, don't follow him, but he did anyway. Seems like they want to toss that piece of evidence to the side and keep saying, well, Zimmerman is the, is the victim. Trayvon is the whatever, the criminal. Trayvon is the criminal, but Zimmerman is the innocent. Zimmerman is not innocent. Second thing is, why would a boy, why would a kid want to attack a man with a gun? If Zimmerman's got his hand on the holster and Trayvon sink that, that holster and that gun, why would he attack Zimmerman if Zimmerman's got his hand on his gun? Think about that. They keep saying, well, Trayvon attacked him. If Trayvon saw the gun, the holster, I don't think Trayvon would attack him. It really, it, it really is mind-boggling where people keep sitting up there taking up for us and saying, oh, Trayvon attacked him. The guy's got a gun. Why would a kid attack a man with a gun? That's the question. Second thing is, if his if he if Zimmerman got his nose broke, how come we didn't see no no blood on his face? That would have left a blood stain on his face because the because you know it, the blood would seep into his skin, leaving this uh, a blood stain on his face. He looked clean. His clothes was clean. Shirt tucked in. For real, why did he look clean? Getting booked into a police station. If he just got done fighting with uh, Trayvon Martin, there's no shirt untucked, there's no grass stains, blood stains, nothing. Not even blood on his hands. That's kind of funny. And then I asked the question, when I did this video the first time, and I had to delete it because I messed up, some guy sit up there and said something about the uh, medical help that was in the uh, ambulance that did that that they tend to him. Hold on, hold on. If it's head trauma, if it was a head trauma, don't you think they would have took him to the hospital first? If it was a head trauma, if he got hit in the back of the head? They wouldn't sit there and fix him up and let him go to the hospital. They wouldn't just fix him up on the spot and then say, oh, take him off to jail. No, what they would have did, took him to the hospital, let a professional doctor take a look at him, see if there's to, to see him what if any damages or anything like that there that's how it is there was no doctor or no hospital saying oh he's got a concussion oh he's got this he's got this he's got that he's got all this and that nothing you don't see that but these people say well they want to take up for him why do you want to take up for him and he shot a teenager with a gun why would a teenager attack a man with a gun that is a question where's the doctor's report none of that's been seen and 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 another thing is as these people keep taking up for him trying to hide the evidence of him looking guilty why did he call the police 42 to 46 times about black folks being in the neighborhood. You don't hear him calling the police about white folks being in the neighborhood. You don't call about Latinos being in the neighborhood. You don't hear him calling about Arabics being in the neighborhood or Muslims. You hear him call about black folks in the neighborhood. To me, that sounds like a racist thing right there if you get a Zimmy call the police 42 to 46 times on black people in the community. Maybe the black people live in that community. Maybe the black people live in that neighborhood. Maybe the black people live in that gated community, whatever. It makes no sense. It doesn't make no sense. It makes no sense. It really doesn't. Because y'all want to take up for people. Y'all want to take up for them because y'all think Jeremy looks is so innocent. How can he be innocent when he killed a teenage boy 
See what I'm saying? You can like how can you sit up there and take up a man take up for a man that killed a child? I don't get it, man, how people can take up for and I've actually seen a guy that sit up there trying to say, Oh, I'm down with it. I'm down for for oh I'm support I like I'm gonna support the the Trayvon case, but I'm not I'm what it's like this with the Jim and this Jim that you can't support Trayvon's family and turn around and trying to back up Zimmerman with the case. And there was four people came to Zimmerman's Zimmerman's side. A black couple, a white woman and it's a black man. And that's four people. And I'm shocked as amazed that these people come out of nowhere and say, oh, he's not a racist. But you heard half the evidence. You saw, you, you heard him to call the, you heard about him calling the police on black people. Oh, he's not a racist. If he wasn't a racist, why did he make 42 to 46 calls to the police about black folks if he's not a racist? If he's not a racist, and if if he's so innocent, if if Zimmerman is so innocent, why did he follow Trayvon Martin back to his house? See what I'm saying? He was just going right up the road to his house. Y'all probably gonna say, "Why was he working at? Why was he walking to his store at midnight? Why was he working walking to the store at midnight?" 17 it's the weekend but this is kind of this is kind of messed up that people want to keep throwing up oh why was he working why was he walking out at midnight that's the only thing y'all want to bring up but y'all don't want to bring up where's the doctor report about the head trauma broken nose why did he make 42 to 46 phone calls to the police about black folks why he disobeyed a police direct order not to follow Trayvon why was his clothes clean and his shirt tucked in if he got in a scuffle with Trayvon his shirt would, be, would have been untucked see what I'm saying it would have shown something that he put up a struggle or something but you don't see that in the video that's out there oh Zimmer did, Zimmer did take up for Zimmer and support a killer cause I can tell you this if they let Zimmerman walk if they let him walk they just given every person in the whole United States a get out of jail free card for life so, he's probably like why are you saying all this why are you saying all this the reason why I'm saying all this is because if he can claim self-defense by shooting a kid in the chest and claiming self-defense, then somebody off the street can go over to a police officer and shoot him in the head, he or she in the head, and claim that self-defense. Because if you don't prosecute Zimmerman, that means you're not going to prosecute nobody after they committed a murder and throw up the whole self-defense act. Think about it. Think about it. Even the haters and all these people supporting Zimmerman. Well, well, this and this. No, it's the facts. The facts are the facts. The truth are the truth. It's all about him shooting somebody. An innocent person. A person with no weapon. A person that saw the gun. Why would, like I said, why would Trayvon tank Zimmerman if Trayvon saw the gun? If Trayvon knew that Zimmerman had a gun, why would he attack Zimmerman to get the gun away from him? Think about it. Nobody will attack a person with a gun if the gun is pointing straight at you. And that's what these people are trying to say. Oh, he attacked Zimmerman just trying to get the gun out the holster. No. Zimmerman already had his hand on the, on the gun. And if he's standing at a a, a, a good distance where blood won't get on his clothes which there wasn't then how then why would Trayvon attack him if Trayvon's running 
he would have shot it like shot him in the back of the bullet when the probably went through his chest. He lived it. I just don't get it. It's just that it's just like that whole bullshit about who's got money, who don't, color, somebody's race, somebody's gender, who whatever. It's all based on how people act to this oh Zimmerman's innocent but he killed a kid and claimed self defense if I go out today and shoot a man in the head I can yell out self defense because cause Zimmerman claimed self defense if Zimmerman walk, I will, people are going to go up and shoot people if, if, I, people gonna, if Zimmerman walk and I go, if I go out and shoot a person in the head, an innocent person, and claim self-defense and they arrest me, I say, how y'all gonna arrest me if I yell self-defense, claim self-defense? Y'all let Zimmerman walk, why not let me walk? See what I'm saying? If y'all let him walk, Zimmerman walk, why can't y'all let me walk because Y'all allow him to shoot somebody, claim self-defense, and walk and walk away a free man. That's all it is. That's all it is. You can't sit there and do that. Because I can tell you this, a judge up here, it's like the whole thing with Tukey Williams. The whole thing with Tukey Williams where Arnold, well, with the evidence, the evidence in Tukey Williams' case showed that he didn't kill nobody. Showing that he wasn't even at the scene, he wasn't even in that, in that area, and all that saying that he wasn't there, all the evidence saying Tukey Williams wasn't even at the, the crime scene, nowhere near. He was thousands and thousands of miles away, and they arrested him. And they sentenced him to death row, and it was coming up, and people were supporting him, trying to get him out. And Arnold Schwarzenegger was at was the uh, 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 governor of California. They were trying to overturn the death penalty, trying to let him out. They showed him all the evidence, but what did Arnold Schwarzenegger do? He said, kill him anyway. And after he killed Tukey Williams, he didn't come out for a while because there was a target on his head for making the wrong mistake. Is that what's going to happen to Zimmerman? Is that what's going to happen to the judge for letting Zimmerman walk? Is that what's going to happen to the prosecutor? If, he, if Zimmerman walks, probably so. That's all it is. If they don't prosecute him now, then there's going to be a riot in Florida, just as well as it was in California when Rodney King got a beat down. They let them police officers walk. Because one thing is, like I said, why would a kid want to attack a man with a gun anyway? If he's running from his life, how did he? Why would he attack Zimmerman if he's robbing, running for his life? You just can't sit there and say, "Well, he attacked Zimmerman." There's no grass stain on the pants. There's no. There's no lab report saying, "Well, he got blood on his shirt." There was Trayvon's blood. There was Zimmerman's blood. Or <laughs> there's no evidence showing that he. Was on the pants in there where there's a grass stain where he was fighting with Trayvon. None of that. Now all the evidence that they supposed to have to make Trayvon look guilty is actually the evidence that's making Zimmerman guilty that the police are not doing their job. Are not doing their job. I'm and so one thing is I wonder, like, because one thing is, I seen there was a dude on the House of Congress supporting the whole case, wearing a hoodie, and Taj, to the guy, Taj, whatever his damn name is, Daniel Taj, from Taj, uh, Taj.0, they made fun of him, because he wear a hoodie to support Trayvon Martin. I wonder how long before Taj.0 makes fun of the death of a kid. I wonder how long before Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, David Letterman, Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien. How I wonder how long before they start cracking jokes. Well, he got shot. Well, Zimmerman was running away and he shot the kid. 
I wonder how many jokes they're going to make after this because, you know, it's kind of a touchy thing. It's kind of a touchy thing, but they're not going to do it. Wait, just watch. But one thing is, y'all go sit up there and say, well, they don't need no doctor's report, their medic at the scene, da 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 They, look, all they do is wrap it up, wrap the, wrap the boo-boo up. They can't diagnose the person. They can't say nothing. But as you seen in that video, there wasn't no bruise on, a bruise on Zimmerman. So that was a damn lie from the get-go. 46 calls to the police station about blacks being in the neighborhood from Zimmerman. Clean, clean clothes, shirt tucked in, no blood on the hands, no or on his fingernails, none. But y'all still want to claim Trayvon Martin as a criminal. Y'all still, and one thing is, I gotta ask, what does his suspension from school gotta do with anything with Trayvon's death? What is Trayvon's, what is Trayvon getting suspended from school, getting in trouble in school, have to do with his death? Not a damn thing. That doesn't have to do with his death. Just because he acted out in school doesn't mean nothing to his death. See what I'm saying? Nothing. Y'all need to stop trying to bring that up. Well, he acted out in school, but it doesn't have nothing to do with his death. You look at Zerman. He used to be a, a, a security guard. And when he clocked in on the job, he was partying with the people and all this and that. Had a restraining order put on him from a from his ex fiance because he said cause she said that he had an anger problem and that's coming from an ex fiance and I still want to know who paid these four people to say all the oh Zimmer's not a Zimmer's not a racist because one of them is a bald headed black gentleman with a beard and he's appearing everywhere have you noticed that this man is appearing everywhere how much is this man getting paid for to say this shit how much is he? How much money is he getting paid to say that shit? It's supposed to be Zimmerman's friend. I wouldn't know if if one of my friends killed somebody. I'm not gonna sit there and back them up. Well, if a friend of mine shot somebody, in the, shot an innocent person in the head, and said, "Well, it's all good. I can walk away from self-defense." I'm not gonna sit there and say he did it because he was self-defense. I would say, "Well, he just walked up to the person and killed him." I'm not gonna go down with the person. I'm not gonna let this shit eat my conscience away. I said, which is that money? You know, is it which? What's more important, that money that these people getting paid for to say them is not a racist, or your uh, your dignity? Which is more important, your dignity or the money? To me, it's my dignity. That's how it is. So don't sit up and say, well, Trayvon's the criminal. He deserved to get killed. No. It's Zimmerman deserved to be locked up before he gets killed out in the streets. Because you know, them people down in Florida is probably already looking at it, Looking for him. Another thing is, another thing is, it's like this. Somebody told him to lose, told Zerman to lose weight so he can look like he's weak. If somebody told you to lose weight, told him to lose weight so he can look different, look like he's a weakling, you're 200 pounds, like 100 and probably 140 pounds heavier than Trayvon and probably much stronger. So how in the hell did do a, a 250 pound man get be punked out by a child by a kid I know some of y'all be saying oh but he's not a kid he's 17 by by law under the age of 18 you're still considered as a child over the age of 18 you are an adult so in the eyes of the law he is a child it's down sitting up there and for and for Geraldo Rivera how dare you how fucking dare you say the the hoodie was the main reason he got killed 
I don't wish the hoodies the same. It's the main reason he got killed. Black kids, white kids, Latinos, Arabics, Muslims, Chinese, Asian, uh, Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, Philippines. Any kid that's in high school or middle school, they're gonna wear hoodies. That is, that is not. How you blame that on a hoodie? It's like me blaming the sky for being blue. It's like blame. It's like me blaming. It's like me blaming the sky for killing people in the storm. No, it's mother nature, dude. But it just makes no sense. All these people trying to make Trayvon Martin look like a damn criminal, but it's really the Zimmerman is a criminal. And I wish people would stop backing him, backing up Zimmerman, saying he's really the victim. There is no blood on his clothes. There is no grass stains on his pants. He's wearing clean clothes, the same clothes that he wore to kill Trayvon Martin in. And there's nothing on the clothes. The police did not tell him take the clothes. They did not give him a jumpsuit to change into. Because one thing is, if the clothes he was wearing at the crime scene is the same clothes where he got booked into, the first thing he's supposed to do after they get him booked in is tell him to change clothes. How come we didn't see that? And then he got released after a bond. Come on now, people grow up and pay attention. It's not all about Zimmerman looking innocent. It's about how he killed a kid in cold blood and you got people that's got paid off just to say, Well Zimmerman's not a murderer, he's not a racist. He did did just defense. Let this motherfucker walk from a murder charge and let all these people go out and kill somebody and claim that in self defense. I wonder how many prisons gonna be empty because of that shit. A lot. A lot. Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe the Wookie. <sighs> Ten like a TIE is because one thing is Zimmerman is still a criminal. He's still a cold blooded killer. There is no evidence going to back him up. He called the cops 46 times on black folks. He sat there. The police actually sat there. That is like, that is actually keeping him. that right there, that piece of evidence when the police told him not to follow him. That's the main. That's one of the main piece of evidence that's showing that he is guilty. Second thing is, them 42 to 46 phone calls to the police department about black folks being in neighborhood. And when he said, well, when the police officer asked him what, what nationality he was, he said, I think he's black. If it's dark outside, you can't tell what the person looks like, what color he is. So you really can't say, I think he's black because it's dark outside. If he's wearing a hoodie and there's a hoodie over his head, you really can't tell him because it's dark, it's raining, and you can't tell what nationality is. So you can't really, he can't really say it's black, a black person. And that's how it is. So this has been Afro Joe. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, Cello Jr. 2, and see Cello Jr. 3. And tell me what you think in a video response. A video response or a comment. And please stay on topic. Please stay on topic. Don't talk about me. If, don't talk shit about me because one thing is you're not sticking to the topic because you really don't. Because one thing, either you agree with somebody killing the child and walk away from it, or you're just that fucking fucked up in the head. This has been Afro Joe, Ted Nike TIS. Peace.